people will start not only purchasing for smoking but for collecting and right. hoarding technically because they don't know when the embargo might be put in again or something goes wrong yeah. so at least store as much as you can and again the similar thing which is like collect it and then resell it as a second the us becomes right. the second biggest secondary market for that as and, compared and to so china or any other places and just so we're clear with what you just said I'm okay with all of that. It's trust me. Also, trust, also, trust me. I fear that day. I fear that day is the most. No, but is there not also um, an argument that one could say that you know, in terms of the U.S. market, the tastes uh, associated with cigars. Right. I, I'm talking about personal. They're they're sort of like embedded now. People like their Arturo Fuentes and their. Yeah. And they're, I don't know, sort of like Dominican cigars, Nicaraguan cigars. They're kind yeah. of like acclimatized to those tastes. It's, it's like someone who smokes Cuban cigars regularly, mm -hmm. trying to smoke a New World cigar. You find that, hang on, this is this is just not the product I like. It's like the right. Coke and Pepsi. It's the Coke and Pepsi kind of difference. They may both right. be decent drinks. Mm -hmm. you know, or decent drinks. Raza, when you're Raza yes. that's, that's the further discussion of this I would keep for the next week.